turning on. What's going on, guys? Kevin here. It's another hot summer, spring, maybe. I think summer's not for a couple weeks. But anyway, it is a hot afternoon here in Georgia. And I'm just doing some house cleaning, some appliance cleaning. And yeah, I know probably about nine. 90% of you guys just clicked off the video after I said that but um yeah I just wanted to uh, go over some thoughts that I was having uh, in regards to my YouTube channel and figured I'd fill you guys in on what's going through my head and the direction I'm deciding to go in with my with my channel and you know when I first started YouTube, making YouTube videos, um, I only had a handful, but it was mostly how to, you know, DIY videos, uh, basically around the house, you know, stuff like that. Um, basically just things that I learned to do and I did, a, you know, for a while and I wanted to basically teach um, most of the videos I consume on YouTube are, you know, along the lines of car repair, uh, home repair, or, uh, you know, uh, home maintenance, you know, stuff like that, boring stuff. And uh, so that last 10% of you that are still watching, uh, probably another 9% just stopped. So whoever's still with me, thanks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, it got me thinking that... You know, I, I wanted to go in different directions. You know, I'm into so many things. Um, I'm into, you know, I love, you know, gardening. So I wanted to, you know, have it, you know, deal with gardening. Um, I have eight cats. I love cats. Um, I was like, should I gear it more towards cats? And then um, I also, I, you know, I like guns. Um, I don't love them, but, I, you know, I kind of do. You know, I've only been living in Georgia for about, I've been here for about nine years. I'm originally from New Jersey. I never had guns growing up. And uh, as soon as I got here, I bought some guns. Um, but they always say when you, when you start a YouTube channel that you're supposed to find your niche and stick to it. And, you know, I mean, that's fine. Um, you know, I want this page to grow, you know, I... I, first off, thank you for my 150, I think it's 162 subscribers, so thank you for watching. But um, they say to really make your channel grow and uh, to get very popular, if you will, uh, to reach a bigger audience. Um, don't be so vague and broad with your topics. Just stick to, you know, a certain topic and nail it. And... You know that's great and all, but honestly, I just like I I'm not a ma I'm a master of none. You know, a jack of many trades, master of none. And um, you know, I I I always think to myself, you know, like what's you know what's the most value you can bring, you know, to your audience, because that's really what counts. You know, that's that's honestly what I what I want out of this channel. You know, I don't want to I don't want to do anything else but provide value to you, the viewer. Um, you know, no matter what it is, you know, whether it's giving reviews on products, unboxing things, fixing things, replacing things, you know, you name it. But, um, you know, I'm just, I'm over here, you know, I'm taking apart my dishwasher and scrubbing it. Um, a lot of times, you know, if you're running your dishes and, you know, you got a film on your dishes and it's not getting clean. Well, the thing is, a lot of people, sometimes they go buy those little tabs and they throw them in there and it's supposed to clean your dishwasher, but it really doesn't. The reason why <laughs> that it's not getting clean, because I don't know if you can see there, this is the bottom rack and that right here is just all nasty gunk that builds up. And the only real way to get your dishwasher working again is if you take it all apart and basically scrub out all this crap that builds up in there. You know, it's nine times out of ten, it's not your water. Or maybe your water might have something to do with it. What's up, neighbor? 
you might have hard water or something. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. The point I'm trying to drive home is 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 basically just being responsible and being a man. And the only <laughs> the only real thing that I think I have mastered you know what that's a bad that's a bad word the only the only real value that I believe I could bring to a broad audience is literally being a 40 year old man in the United States and now a lot of you are probably thinking like what the hell is he talking about he's he's scrubbing crap <laughs> from his dishwasher rack well the thing is with age comes wisdom and with age comes responsibility it is is it's a great responsibility now i don't have kids you know so i cannot speak to being a father but i can speak to you know living through experience i've been through a lot as like most others. I don't know how to take about this take up take apart these bottom guys. I'm gonna be looking down for a second. I figured out how to take this top this top rack. No, this is the bottom rack. It's got the little rollers. <laughs> I just got myself in the face. But um yeah I'm gonna try to figure this out as I'm talking to you guys. Um you know that's I feel like that's that's the best value that I can bring. I definitely do not want to break this. See I gotta take it apart. See I can get this part right here but I see some more in there, so I'm gonna see if I can figure this out. You know, it's just, it's, you know, it's about sharing. I believe that if I share my wisdom through life and through my experiences, I feel like I could best help my viewers. Uh, you know, young men in particular, um, whether it has to do with just, you know, basic responsibilities, um, owning a home, you know, fixing your car, you know, maintaining a clean house, maintaining your cats, maintaining your appliances. You know, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, maintaining a good relationship with your wife. You know, we've only been married for about a year, but we've been together for all going on 12, a little over 12 years now. And, you know, I learned an endless amount of information. And I find myself, you know, I have younger friends and family and, you know, I try to teach them as much as possible. You know, I see certain paths that people go down and certain, just certain things, you know, people do and the way they live their lives. And, you know, you, you, you try to tell them without preaching that, you know, I, you know, I was basically you at your age doing what you're doing. And it, it's only going to go a certain a certain few paths and they're all not good <laughs> and you you know I try to ingrain that in their brains and let them know but I mean looking back um, you know I, I you know I, I don't expect them to to take my words a hundred percent seriously because I feel like if you know someone was telling me that at their age you know when I was that age you know I probably wouldn't have I, you know I probably wouldn't have really taken their advice seriously but anyway being responsible cleaning your dish rack <laughs> I don't know how to take this thing off I really do not want to break it I'm trying to all right so that there's a clip there. I really don't know how this comes off. It comes off somehow. 
Let's see here. I might need like a screwdriver or something. Oh, nope. All right, I'm pulling this way. Something just popped. Ha ha. Yo, look at that. You see that? <laughs> look at this. That's why your dishes aren't coming clean. So what I'm basically doing is I'm doing this out here. Got my little soapy water. Got my toothbrush. And I'm just hitting it out here. And then I'm going to drag the hose from the side of the house. And do it like so. But, you know, there's a lot of things I've learned. Just, you know, just running the gambit. You know, whether it be, you know, with relationships, with uh, finance. Oh, I can talk about money and finance and getting out of debt and staying out of debt and building assets and building, you know, your network and relationships, and making good money. I drive a concrete truck. That's why I look like this. You know, I'm unkept. I just got out of work not too long ago. But, um, yeah, I just I basically on a day like this, you know, when we have a short Saturday, you know, I'll come in and uh, I'll usually just keep my, my work clothes on if I'm going to do some housework, stuff like that. I don't know if you can see behind me, I got a bike. Um, all I, I got this about a month ago. It's a Kawasaki Ninja 400. So it's a little, little 400. It's all right. I'm 40 years old, and I haven't ridden a motorcycle in probably 20 years. But, um, yeah, call it a midlife crisis. Call it whatever you want. Um, I went and bought a motorcycle. But, you know, I was thinking all day, you know, everyone's out riding. You know, the weather's nice, um, especially all morning, you know, before it gets really hot. You know, everybody's out riding, and uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just waiting for them to tell me to take it to the house to go home so I can go fire her up. But you know what? I pulled up in the, I pulled up in the driveway, and I'm like, yo, my grass is like a foot high. <laughs> um, you know, screw it. You know, it's hot. I'll wait till later. I'll do it. Being responsible. Being a 40 year old man. You know. And that's honestly what I want to, you know, I want to convey that, you know, I feel like that's how I can best help my audience. And, you know, I think that's what it's all about. You know, I'm not really, you know, if it, oh, God, that is gross. Yeah, I'm going to go get the, I might go get the hose now. <laughs> that is, oh, all right. Give me one sec. And we're back. All right. Sorry about that. Yo, this is nasty. Like, I don't even want to, like, <laughs> I don't even want to. Oh, there it goes. I didn't want to, like, just scrub it off and, like, flick it on the ground. Because it's, like, literally, literally sludge. I think I got it on the camera. Anywho. Um, yeah, it's nasty. But, oh, God, look at that. It's still there. Gross. All right. There you go. And it just fell apart. I don't know. I'm going to put this back together. But. Honestly, I just. I feel like that's the best thing I got going for me. You know? I feel like that's how I can help the most. This is a very little. This has got a lot of intricate little pieces to it. You never know how nasty, like, if you just, honestly, if you just take take your dishwasher apart, take the racks out, just look at all the crap that's in there. No one ever does it. No one ever does it. I made a video a while back on cleaning uh, the refrigerator coils. Like, you go and pull your refrigerator out and, and pull out the uh, the little, like, they usually got a little, like, cover screwed on to, you know, where the exhaust where the fan takes an air and then it blows through the motor and yada yada. You know, all that nasty that gets in there. And But, you know, videos like that aren't a big hit. But, you know, I noticed just, you know, things that help people um, is, you know, is a big hit. I had a video where I, I, I um, 
reviewed a uh, a, a bulletproof shirt, and um, yeah, that that has that got a ton of views. Um, I did a very it just you know I took my time with it. I did a very in depth review. I wrote everything out. Um, I had sort of a script, but you know I was kind of on and off. But um, planned it out very well, and uh, it helped a lot of people. You know, um, it's a you know kind of a big purchase. Uh, body armor is expensive. Um, you know, I'm not going to get into why I got it, but I just I, I wanted it. Let's just put it that way. And you know, I wound up buying it. So this piece goes here, I think. That wheel goes like that. And then this piece. <laughs> I hope I'm doing this right. Goes over like so. Like that. Anyway. And it's not attached. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Alright, so this one goes like so. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Alright. So I take you apart. I hope I don't break this because it's going to suck. If I do. And just push that down. But yeah, guys, um, I made a I made a made a video on how to clean. I'm not how to clean. Uh, I did a video on how to clean cat boxes. No one watched that one, but I did one how to make a litter box out of a Walmart uh, storage container <laughs> that I bought. And um, so I had a, I have a cat, still have him, um, who uh, likes to pee outside the litter box. Well in the litter box but he pees over the wall so i had to make a tall litter box and that you know a ton of people watched that and uh helped out a lot of people and you know that's just what i want to do and you know i wanted to go ride all day you know and sometimes i just it's not about what you want to do it's what you have to do and you know, I I have to do these things. I gotta cut the grass. Um, I have to maintain my equipment. I have to clean my dishwasher through and through. We use the thing every day. Um, I have to be the best man I can be for my wife. I gotta be responsible. I'm drinking water here. I'm just drinking a glass of ice water. There was a time not too long ago where I would be probably about halfway through a 30 pack of Rolling Rock and on my way to be stumbling over drunk. But, you know, I stopped drinking. I, let's see, <laughs> I got a nicotine patch on here because I used to vape every day. I got little nicotine lozenges for uh, in case I have a, a strong craving or a bad day, you know. But, you know, I was just spending a ton of money on e-cigarettes and every day, all day, riding around in my truck, just chugging away on it, you know. about doing being responsible and doing the right thing and I believe I can teach that to a lot of young men and you know maybe people older than me and you know I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying this is a, I'm I know everything I'm all high and muddy I mean look at me this <laughs> I don't know everything you know I was like 25 pounds lighter <laughs> maybe 30 pounds lighter um, like when I started, you know, stopped vaping. I actually, I'm back on the patch. I freaking stopped for, it was like two months that I was off the patch and uh, stopped vaping off the patch. It took me like, you know, I was like three months without, without e-cigarettes. And um, I mean, I, that was the longest I ever went. And I was, I was vaping for like, I was probably vaping for like 10 years forever this thing's been out for a long time but i used to get the ones the, the the ones in the in the gas stations they were like it looked like a like a cigarette but it was like they had black or white ones i forgot i forgot the name of them but uh yeah ever since then probably like over 10 years 
And uh, he's just, you know, you know, we have a we have a good way of our brains convincing ourselves of something that you know that is true that the heart knows is a lie. Does that make any sense? You know, we know in our conscience, you know, changes we need to make and what is right and wrong and, you know, what our problems are and, you know, our solutions, you know, are in here. And if they're not in here, you know, someone else who is older than you probably knows. The answer or can help you. And, you know, I hope to be, you know, that help that someone needs. So, in any case, I'm going to take these off again. So now I figured it out, I think. And, uh, yeah, that's the direction that I'm going to go with in this, in this channel. So I'll probably change my name up. And I'm going to go from there and uh, see how it goes. And probably the one or two of you who are still with me in this, uh, Thanks for watching, and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll see you guys again. Peace.